Hi, everybody. I, I really hope y'all had a great Thanksgiving. Uh, we did. Uh, we, we didn't fix the turkey this year. <laughs> no. We actually fixed the biggest chicken I've ever seen in my life. Um, we just don't finish a turkey. So we had a chicken that was stuffed and all the uh, kerchments that come along with Thanksgiving. I go, you guys had a blessed one, and I hope you all had a time to reflect on what the year has blessed you with, because I think that's the most important part of Thanksgiving. So today's video, I am going to do a uh, thrift shopping haul with you as well as my next one. But this one also, I have um, subscribed to two different subscription companies and uh right now you can get quite the deal on your first package yeah and i picked the cheapest ones because the fact is you guys um yeah we're all struggling for money and you everybody knows how much weight i've lost in the last i don't know year like 60 pounds um i i think i finally hit a plateau <laughs> at 129 but I've had to replace all my clothes um, several times and every time I went down a size I thought <laughs> yeah this this is as far down as I'm gonna go because at one point I got down to like 117 and was wearing a size zero uh, fact is now I am uh, half crippled <laughs> and uh, I have a bad back and a pinched nerve back there and I have to watch. I, I can't wear my hip huggers anymore. Uh, they hit me right on that nerve, and uh, I can't wear pants that are too tight. So I'm hanging out in a six seven, depending on the pants. But um, with that being said, I'm I've gone out and uh, gotten a lot of new clothes, and I've had to look for clothes that were within my budget. Not only that. Hold on one second. I'm gonna lean over you. Don't get dizzy. <laughs> I wanted to get one more of my uh, thrift sword vi uh, finds for you guys. So, <clears throat> where was I? <laughs> Anyhow, um, you know, times are tough for all of us. So, my main objective is not only finding stuff for me at the cheapest possible um, expense, and I'm talking quality, too. I'm, I'm not going to wear junk. I don't plan on buying new clothes every six months because of what I bought at a thrift store fell apart so I look for quality um, and with that being said um, I have found some really good thrift stores besides Goodwill and Dollar Days at Goodwill I shop at Salvation Army I shop at Desert Industries I shop oh what's the other one oh um, oh shoot <laughs> I, you know what I I think I had too much turkey <laughs> chicken. I know they say it knocks you out. I could use a nap today. I've been so busy. Um, besides adding stuff to my Poshmark, uh, we opened an eBay store and then we went out thrifting for that as well. So um, I will leave the name of my eBay store down below and any information about the subscription boxes we're going to open together um, down below as well. Uh, one of them, uh, or both of them, I think one of them you can get a $15 gift card right now. Um, and one of them, using a little link I leave down below, you can get them for 5 bucks, three, three of them. So, without further ado, I think that we're going to start out with, uh, I think, the subscription boxes. And then we'll go into the thrift store halls, uh, Goodwill, Desert Industry, Salvation Army and Savers. That was the third one. Savers, I get my high price purses most of the time. Um, I have been finding them at Desert Industries and I have been finding them at Goodwill as well. So, without further ado, let's open our first one, okay? Uh, this one is a candle subscription. I got the smallest one. I'm going to get my notes out because I have made notes for this. Uh, this is called Vela Box Candle Subscription. You have three different boxes that you can get, three different size candles. Uh, this one 
you get the four inch and then the, the next one up you get two four inches and then the third one you get full size and candle wax and but they say they give you a free gift now you guys this my first box I only paid six bucks for my monthly subscription costs me twelve dollars a month and they'll automatically ship me a new candle now this stuff these candles are not the cheap candles you get at Walmart they're made with 100% natural wax, cotton wicks, and clear, clear, clean fragrances. When you sign up, you'll fill out an area that, that tells them what kind of fragrances you like. I, I'm not a flower person. I'm not a fruit person. <laughs> I'm just not. I'm more into natural sandalwood, musk, uh, petrol, petroleum oil, uh, vanilla, cinnamon, things like that. Um, those are the kind that I like, sandalwood. Uh, so I'm kind of anxious to see uh, what they sent us here. So they have three. What did I get with my scissors? I just had those. Oh, <laughs> <I'm tough. Woo! laughs> uh, they have three different subscription boxes. I think the most expensive one is 24. Um, the one I have is 12, and I think there's one that's like 18 or 17. But I do know that right now, if you go to their site and you sign up for a subscription, no matter if it's the $12 one or the $24 one, uh, you get a $15 gift card. That's pretty good. And besides our candle, we're supposed to get a gift. We'll see. So I was going to do some other... Um, subscriptions and I needed new clothes my size nines were falling off yeah it was kind of getting ridiculous I looked like a homeless person I was homeless for a while right boondocking <laughs> I was living in my van for about nine months this year okay and I got this little bag off and it's, it's empty Throw it down. What a cute little box. I can use this for shipping. I got a candy dish on eBay that can fit in here. Okay, let's see. How do we open this? Oh, oh, it smells good, you guys. Uh, light the way. I think my candle has a 60 hour burn or a 20. I don't remember. I should have wrote it down, but I didn't. Okay, we get a little Bella thing. Welcome and welcome, welcome, fellow candle lover. We hope you'll enjoy your monthly happy mail. You can look forward to more good smells and good vibes coming your way. They charge you on the first, and you should have your candle by the eighth of every month. Uh, it says, join the community and share your cozy mo moments with us, and they give you that address. And it says, sign up for exclusives and you scan here so let's see what the back says repurchase your favorites and you can scan there why the candle maker changes they have like hundreds of all natural candle makers you guys from around the United States from Colorado to Maine and they're small businesses a lot of them are women owned and they not just use one every month they they use a different one every month to help spread the love and you know what I, I love that and it tells you how to burn your candle like a pro <laughs> anyway I'll put that down so let's see oh what a cute little bag you guys oh I smell fruit is that fruit Hmm. Kind of smells like a cherry wood almost. Yeah, like a pine maybe. Oh, this little bag is too cute. <laughs> Can I get it out? This is the next question. Okay, it's I did smell pine, and I'm not good at smelling. Yeah, it's Carnigan, Kerrigan, however you say that. I got one on. I bought it at a thrift store. I'm going to show you. And pine. It's number eleven. It's got citrus rose, balsam fir, uh, cozy bungalow, black tea, cool woods, and pine. 
Um, I yeah, I told you I didn't like flowers. I kind of like outdoor wood. Oh, you guys, it smells like you're out camping. That smells like. Oh, oh, you can smell the sweetness when you take the lid off. I smell vanilla. Oh, that is so delicious, you guys. My candle burns 25 hours. That is amazing. I can smell the black tea. So that's my candle. I might up this box because that's that's a beautiful smell. I've never smelt anything. Anything that they give to their customers in their subscription boxes is not available for the public. Um, the candles that we get as a subscribers uh, will never be for anybody but us subscribers. That's amazing, you guys. And the little bag is adorable. It's like a burlap sour ba uh, flower bag. You remember? I don't know if all of you remember, but there was a time my grandma used to get her flower in a bag that was made out of this. Let's see if we got a gift in here. Well, I don't know really what this is. Is that like a... Maybe they'll tell us. <clears throat> like a... Um, I don't know. Put it out kind of thing? Oh, it smells good. I think so. They should tell us. Vanilla and... So I told you guys I smelled vanilla. Oh. The maker of this is out of Columbus, Ohio. The name is Vanilla and Spruce. They offer phosphate-free fragrances divine, uh, designed to invoke nostalgia, dreams, and coziness. Uh, immerse in scents that resonate with you, whether through their body mist or home products like candles, diffusers, and wax melts. I know the biggest one you can get the wax melt. I used to use a wax melt, but yeah, that kind of gets to be a pain after a while. Uh, their mission is to inspire quality moments that champion the balance of sentiment and growth, believing that true rest ignites soulful living and deeper connections. I believe it. And then uh, it tells about my it tells about my uh, my candle, which is Carnegie and. Kerrigan and, Sp and Pine. Woodsy. I told you guys. And this little thing is a herb stripper. So you put it on the end of your herb and pull your herb through and it'll pull off like your rosemary and your cilantro or anything basil, anything dried, uh, depending on how big uh, the stem is. That's a beautiful little gift and it's all rosewood. Beautiful. Uh, you know what? It really talks about all kinds of stuff on this little card. And then inside the box, the little sign says, Be filled with love, joy, and comfort food. Thanksgiving. I love that box, you guys. <laughs> I really love this box. I love that candle. I can't wait to burn it. And what a nice little, yeah, fresh, fresh herbs stripper at that. What a cute little box and bag. So anyway, that's my first subscription box. Now my second one, you're all going to go, Tammy, oh God. But the fact is, is just like my clothes, I out, I've undergrown, that's a good way to put it, my bras and my underwears. I can't keep up on underwear. But you guys, I used to have that top drawer right there. You used to be able to not get at <laughs> I had at least 80 pair of underwear. I have a fear, a phobia of running out of underwear um, and bras. And uh, yeah, I'm just trying to build up to 30 again because the fact is, is I can't fit in none of the other ones. So my next subscription, are you ready? <laughs> um, is Splendies. Yeah, underwear. So in this pack, this little pink pack of happiness, <laughs> Um, you get three pair of, of underwears. Uh, you can choose between um, bikini, high cut bikini, you know, where they come high up on your thigh, or G strings. No, not G th thongs. <laughs> uh, you can also buy nightwear and jammy sets, 
all kinds of stuff on their site, but their subscription boxes are underwear. Now you can get a subscription box of all thongs. You can get one of all high rise underwear, all high cut is a good way because they're not, they're more bikini low cut, you know, high cut. Um, or you can get bikinis or you can get a mixture of all three. Get one of each every month. The first packet I only paid five dollars. Now it'll cost me fourteen ninety nine, I believe, every month for three new pairs, and I don't have to try and get myself out to buy myself chonies. I just don't do it, you guys. You know, I I used to buy underwear by the packs, and you know, once you buy ten or twelve, and you got extras laying around, it was no big deal. But now that I've happened to change the size. I have to restock, and I'd rather them just send me three pair a month than me have to go out and buy them. So anyway, let's open without further ado. Um, I have a, I'll have be leaking a link down below for you. If you want to get three pair of underwear and subscribe, use my link. And you can get three pair of underwear for $5. And then every month, they will send you three more. You can... Stop the subscription anytime you want. You can set it up for every three months, every six months, four times a year. Um, you have total control over your subscription. And the same with the Candle Villa. Yeah, Villa Box. Same with them. Okay, here we go. Oh, look how pretty this is packed, you guys. Let's look in here. It's empty. Oh, look how pretty. Okay. Oh, I love the colors. Oh, how pretty. Yeah, I'm not used to showing my underwear on video, but hey, you know, for three bucks, or five bucks for three pair. Come on, guys. Can it? Can, yeah. And they did say, these, look at that lace. Isn't that feminine? Look how feminine. How beautifully feminine. Now, to me, these look big. I'm just going to say it for me. Um, they told me to order a size up. Well, I guess everybody has to order a size up. I'm hoping they're not too too big. But um, I do know that you can go in and change your sizing at any time. Because I wear a medium. Yeah, so. But I went in and did what they told me and sized up. So, let's see the next one. Ooh, these are pretty as well. Now, these are expensive, you guys. Yeah, these look too big. They look way too big. <laughs> they have up to size 4X, by the way. Are these large? I swear these look like extra large, you guys. <laughs> Let me look. Santa Monica. No, they're large. Okay. They look too big. We'll see. So anyway, uh, this is my next pair. I'm not quite really sure how these go. Oh, I got them inside out. And these are just like, these look like the sizes I just threw away. <laughs> Aren't those pretty? And that's more of a, these colors aren't, that's too yellow. This is more of a, uh, an, an orange. I want to say a salmon. Yeah, it's not yellow. It's kind of orange. It's very pretty. My, my camera's just... See that orange in there? Yeah. That's what color it is. Kind of an orange is pink. They look too big. I'll let you know if they're too big and if I had to order it down. Okay, and last but not least, one of my favorite colors. Blind you is what I'll do. Yeah, these just look too big. They look like way too big. Let's try them. Okay. These look too big. <laughs> they better have been right when they said size up. Yeah, I'll be sending these back. Um, they're just too big, I think. Anyway, they have washing instructions for you. But you get three pair of mark. I'll let you know uh, my next video if those are just entirely too big. Uh, they give you washing instructions. For you, Tonys. Um, I'm excited. A little 
frightened that they're that they look like way too big. <laughs> Just saying. So anyway, let me get a little stats up here about the Splendies box. Yeah, I went back in, and matter of fact, I called the company. I had problems, and they were right on it, you guys. So I ordered mediums when I first started my subscription, and of course, I'm going through reading all about them, and it says, order a size up. They're made small. Yeah, maybe I'm just buying them size. Maybe I need a small instead of a medium. Anyway, um, if you will leave your name and email address, I will get you your first three pair of panties for five dollars um, yeah or you can go to and I will put this information underneath my video um, www.splendies.com refer backslash Tammy dash B I T E I I J C I'll put that down yeah um, you can select your size and again I got written down right here order size up I will let you know because I got to tell you I'm scared I just got rid of panties that were that big um, and then you could choose your style what you want in your in your uh, mystery package every month you can get all thongs no thongs high cuts bikinis or one of each make it a surprise a uh, free shipping for all subscriptions now they also have stuff that you can order outside of a subscription uh, they've got undies for like $4.99 each, full sets, bralettes, mystery packs, pajamas. Um, with that, it is, um, oh my goodness, hold on. <laughs> okay, with that, uh, you get free shipping after $30. But for your subscriptions, you get free shipping. So, uh, yeah, I think I said everything on those. So anyway, I will let you know in my next video uh, if those fit. And it'll be coming up here in a couple days. I'm doing two videos today. Yeah, I got... I was so busy on eBay, you guys. I I opened eBay because I I used to have an eBay. And, and we closed it. And, and I, I really need to get my products out to more than just Poshmark. So anyway, on one of my shopping trips... I told you I love candles. Um, I was in the in the knickknacks and whatnot area, and I seen a candle, and it's natural wax and wick. Beautiful. The notes on this. Oh, oh, that's so beautiful. It smells like lavender and vanilla. Is all I can tell you. Makes my mouth water. Um, brand new. Never been burnt. And this little candle, let's see. How many hours? This says it's a 60-hour candle. Made in the USA. So anyway, this beautiful little candle i seen sitting on the shelf. When you always see candles in thrift stores. The original price was $5. This candle, red tags that day, were half off. So I got this candle, brand new, for $2.50. Even at Walmart, <laughs> their cheapest candle is what? $11.99. So I have a beautiful candle. It doesn't match. You know, when you do the uh, Wella box, they match the scent you tell them you want. That scent is amazing. But this smells good. I like both lavender and vanilla. Okay. So... You guys know that I, um, yeah, I have bad back, I have bad knees, bad hips. They want to do surgery. I've had injections in my spine called nerve blocks. They don't work. Well, what you don't know is when I had my scooter, Lucy Lou, she had a little six, uh, a six amp battery, and I was changing the battery out when I was selling her and dropped it on my foot. Uh, the foot that's numb due to my neck surgery. I shattered the joint in the toe next to my big toe and it bruised and stuff but I figured I just bruised it well now I have a hard time finding shoes because everything almost everything I wear I've been stuck wearing Crocs with dresses and every, shorts I mean it's just they're not sexy they're not feminine and they're really not even comfortable um, 
But I've been stuck wearing Crocs for about three years now. So I said, that's it. Uh, I want to find some shoes that are comfortable for me. So one of the things I've been looking for along with new clothes has been shoes. <laughs> the first pair of shoes I got are called Bionica. <coughs> you guys, these are so comfortable. I can Sometimes I can wear them a whole day and that foot doesn't start hurting me. And when it hurts, you guys, I can't walk. Um, these are truly the most comfortable shoes I've ever worn. These were originally $14.99 at Goodwill. And they're my favorite color. Purple is my favorite. People think pink is, but no, purple. Um, they were $14.99 or $98 or something like that. I got them for $2. Um, and you look up these shoes, and they're expensive. Very expensive. Um, I will be shopping for shoes for my eBay from now on, but I did get these ones. I can wear those this summer as well. Okay. The next pair of shoes I got I need for my jeans. These are leather. Oh, by the way, those are all leather. Upper foot. Um, these ones are leather. They're made by, I'm going to try and pronounce this, Romica. Um, they're a beautiful dark blue, uh, butter soft leather. They have slight heel. You can tell by the bottoms. Uh, and I've been wearing these shoes for about a week now. You can tell by the bottoms that these shoes are, you should have seen them when I bought them. These shoes, they had them for $19 at Goodwill. How much were they? Nope, $7.90. $7.79. I left the tag in. $7.79 at Goodwill. I got these for $2. And they're so comfortable. They have the stretchy band. I haven't even looked any of these up, you guys, on to see what the price of these are. But I will. So anyway, yeah, two dollars. So comfortable, so comfortable. Look adorable with tights and like a dress shirt. Or today I'm wearing a, a longer shirt, a cardigan, and tights. Well, they're pants, but they look like tights, um, and they look adorable. Okay, and my last pair. And I almost got Clark's, but I really needed more of a dress shoe. And you all know I used to ride motorcycles. Um, I had a pair of black boots, biker boots, steel toes. I let my daughter-in-law use, and I uh, never got them back. <laughs> so, yeah. So, anyway, uh, these these shoes, I got those for $2. So, so far you've seen two pairs of shoes for $2. These shoes were only $5.97. Um, I think these are leather. I'm pretty sure we looked it up. Yeah. I'm pretty particular about what I put on my feet. Let me see here. Oh, there we go. Yes, they are. Upper leather. Okay. And the rest is man-made. Okay. Not bad. So anyway, if you look at the bottom, and I haven't worn these at all, so you can actually see the wear. There was no wear. Maybe once around the block. <laughs> Um, I have wide feet, and these fit. These are called Unisas, U-N-I-S-A. Um, just one side of the boot zips. Okay, got a pull. Hold on, guys. You have a pull. This side is decoration. Oops. This side is decoration only. It doesn't go any further than that. Um... Again, it's butter soft leather. Really soft. Two dollars. <laughs> I only just paid two dollars for these at Goodwill. And again they were five seventy nine. So none of these will be going up for sale. <laughs> these are my personal collection. Unless I gotta tell you, the sandals and the other shoes I have worn 
many times and I'm keeping those. These are the only shoes I haven't worn yet and I do have a anniversary coming up that I'll be wearing these with one of the dresses that I'll be showing you in my next video. Okay. Now my next find was <clears throat> at Goodwill as well. They had this purse for $6.49 originally. And you all know who this is. Um, it's in really pretty good condition. I've got this for me. <laughs> I like a saddlebag. It has some wear in the back. But it's got a pouch here. Nothing I can't deal with. This is a Vera Bradley. It's got the zipper back here. And then inside it's got... What have I got in here? Oh, holsters. Put all my holsters in there. Um, yeah, hold on. Um, on the inside, it says Laura Bradley on the zipper. Vera Bradley, I'm sorry. It says it on all the zippers. Okay. It is a cute little purse. So anyway, on the inside, it has uh, no zipper, but it has two slide compartments and a big open space. And then you have a zipper pocket on the side. And you have a regular compartment on this side with no zipper, like to put, toss your keys or your phone or whatever in. Yeah, $2 for a Vera, yeah, a Vera Bradley. Yeah, so I've got, bought this for myself. I also bought a, I think you call it a Tillic, Tillic ago? I, I cannot pronounce the name of this purse. Uh, it's on my uh, eBay. M my store name will be down below. But it is the most adorable little blue leather purse. Um, the first time I ever got one, uh, my husband went out and bought me one as a gift. I'd never heard of it. I never carried anything but a leather purse. As long as they were leather, I didn't care. Uh, Wilson's was a, I carried a Wilson's leather purse for a very long time. And wore their jackets. So anyway, two dollars. You know, I love it when I go out, but I have found a, a thrift store <laughs> that has items on sale for a dollar. And if you go in on senior day and you happen to be a senior, you get ten percent off. So the clothing items I'm going to show you today, I paid eighty cents for. And I have to tell you most of them were brand new with tags so first thing I'm going to show you is I get wow <laughs> lady get out of my face <laughs> anyway first thing I'm going to show you is this beautiful cardigan 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 <laughs> sweater I got since it's cold right now and I know I got fuzz I'm going to try and step back guys so you can see it it's um past my knees I'm crippled remember <laughs> Okay, so I would love to try clothes on for you guys, but this little sweater is so adorable. Um, it comes right to my knee. Uh, it's it's open, no no pockets, no buttons, but very comfortable. And it brand new. It was brand new, and I kind of like the way the fabric is see through. See it? How it's like I'll stretch it out everywhere, and it. It's heavy. It, it is absolutely heavy. You would never know <laughs> that this sweater is extremely warm. And my Harley shirt I have on, I got that from 2005 in Wisconsin. I was part of a food run where we got on our motorcycles and we drove for so many miles and for every mile you had a donor who would donate so much money in food and yeah our club did that every year yeah so that's where this t-shirt I've had that long so anyway the next thing I'm going to show you guys and the last thing on this video is the cutest brand new brand new and I gotta tell you 
I wear a size medium shirts. This one is a large, it's too big. <laughs> but, um, so I bought medium dresses. And this is too tight in the bust in the back. It fits everywhere else. So then I realized, because it's very thin, very see-through, gorgeous. But I realized this is a bathing suit cover, you guys. It is so pretty. Um, let me show you the embellishments on the top. Isn't that beautiful? Isn't that pretty? And this will button. You can button the top here and have a little peekaboo there. And get that on there. This is made by a company called uh, it's V A R A N G A. I'm not going to try to pronounce it. There it is. <laughs> so anyway, it is short sleeved, but at, it's three quarter sleeved, and it's got these little bell sleeves at the end. <laughs> I'm telling you, this thing is so adorable, you guys. It is, I believe, 100% linen or, co or cotton. Let me get to see. It's got the little uh, trademark right here. There it is. I knew I seen that in here. This is 100% cotton. It is so pretty. I am going to step back so you can see this whole dress. And I'm watching. <laughs> so it's not a dress. You would wear this. Well, I guess you could use it as a nightie, you guys, if you wanted to. But. I'm pretty sure it's for over a swimsuit. You can wear it as a dress if you wanted to. It is see-through. I don't know. And it, it's about, uh, come to the middle of my calves. And if you can see here, it's split up. And this is a tag. This is their clothing tag. That's what that is. It's the V. And it's slid on both sides. You see that? This thing is adorable. But if you look, I'm going to show you. And that's not even in the sun. And you can see my hand. But this is the softest, most prettiest material. Yeah. Like I said, you could wear this as a pajama. You could wear this as a bathing suit cover. And it comes right to... I'm going to say about an inch above my ankles. I'm five foot four. I used to be five five. And these sleeves look adorable on. I had this on. Anyway, I'll be listing that on eBay. I'm not sure I'll be listing that on Poshmark. So anyway, that is gorgeous. That gets listed. So on my, let me sit my little booty back down. <laughs> I'm so broken. Um, so on my eBay, um, I have all kinds of stuff on there. I'm not even going to say the names of the stuff I have listed because, you know what? Got to watch out for YouTube. They get anal about little stupid stuff. And then you get people who you offend by saying, you know, I'm a conservative. Pisses people off. It's really sad that we can't just love each other. You know, seriously. I am serious. Um, past the what you are politically, religiously, you're still human. We still all bleed. We still all cry. We love. We have children. We hurt. Um, we're happy. We all need friendships. We all need companionship. And when we start alienating each other, it's just kind of really sad. Really sad. Um, for stupid reasons. So, with that being said, <laughs> I'll shut up. So, anyway, I've gotten a whole bunch of tights. I don't know if you can see these. Let me see if I can get my leg up that height. Oh, no. <laughs> Let me see if I can get my camera down that low. Anyway, those little tights I um, got 
at the thrift store for two dollars um so yeah i we just kind of yeah, I've just been picking up stuff, picking up stuff. So I hope you enjoyed this. I, You guys, you know, if you want to join the subscription clubs, I've watched them all. I can't see paying $200 for a pair of jeans when I can go out to one of the thrift stores and get a brand new pair with tags on it for $2. Just saying. I guess I'm just too frugal or cheap. Cheap? Yeah, I think cheap might be a good word. Let me see if I can tap that off my screen. <laughs> it's driving me crazy. So anyway, I, I really hope you guys had a great Thanksgiving. And I really hope that that this holiday is really blessed for you. As I pray it's blessed for me too. Um, I'm going to be looking for a house. Yeah. I would like a two or three bedroom house. Um, simply... I'm, I'm kind of over living in apartments or in my van or it's time, you know, I'm going to be 65 and I think it's time to chill. Will the gypsy in me ever go away? No, never. And I have my van if I want to go out for a couple weeks at a time and a tent and everything that I need. But I think I want a home base that's more permanent. Um, it's all good to come home. Uh, to an apartment, but I, I want a garden again, you know, I want room to store the stuff I sell on eBay and Poshmark I want a dog again, you know, I miss having a pit bull um, Yeah, that kind of stuff, you know, so anyway, you guys have a great day remember to love yourself Reach out and love somebody else in the way of kindness. We have so little kindness you guys um, show kindness yeah, you don't have to give them cash. You can show kindness by buying them coffee or a cup of soup. Speaking of coffee. <laughs> I I mentioned in a video, either my last video or the video before that, that I found a, a buy me a coffee button. I installed the buy me a coffee button. If you want to buy me a cup of coffee, there's a button on my main YouTube page. Click that. You can buy me a cup of coffee or there's a link below. And if you do, thank you. <laughs> I appreciate it. I've had, so I already had somebody buy me a cup of coffee. It was really cool. I went straight out and got it. And you guys, I'm not buy, I don't buy Starbucks. You know, I'm the Circle K kind of girl. You know, I buy a dollar coffee. So, yeah, buying me coffee isn't even that expensive. I heard it was a cheap date. <laughs> anyway, be blessed. I'll see you in my next video. Peace out. Bye-bye.